America saw fit to use layer of dirt to cover their 400 year old shame. 400 years of inhumane treatment, 400 years of the degradation of a people, America has tried to throw a bomb, I mean rock and hide its hand has smiled in your face and sold your children to the highest prison, I mean profession, I mean plantation, has smiled in your face while simultaneously being found not guilty, America, has smiled in your face and murdered your mothers and fathers, smiled in your face, gave you broken dream to chase while they casually walk out your front door with your life and all the while, America is smiling at you and you smiling at America. And before you know it, America done left with everything that ever meant anything to you, your story, your history, your talents, your dignity, your ideas, your family, your body, your organs, your dreams. See, America saw fit to spread layer of racism and capitalism, I mean, dirt, over their 400-year-old skeleton. Well, we shouldn't be surprised when them bones get to stinking, when that decomposing flesh gets to eating past your comfort zone, when those 400-year-old bones come back to collect the debt seat. The scales have been weighed, and America just keep coming up short. Well, there's no better time than now. There's no better place than here. There's no better people than us. The ancestors have been born in our wrath, nurtured in our pain, and that energy is compounded by every life slain. We feel their presence. We say their names. New Orleans. One of the largest slave ports turned highest incarceration rate in the United States where plantation owners and smiling politicians get rich off the back of blacks, New Orleans, where the spirit of our resilient ancestors reached out past the grave. Where we rebelled against oppression for centuries, for decades, where blood be the fuel to our fire and it's about to combust. There will be no consideration for a just adjudication. It is an absolute must. Our army extends further than the eye can see and they are unwilling to rest, unwilling to settle. So we've got no more time for this dance of diplomacy. You couldn't possibly believe we continue to be this naive. Those lies you tell no longer feed us. Their nourishment has come back empty and we are hungry and we are starving for justice.